How the universe might have been looking around million years ago? What if I tell you that you can look at the universe 13 billion years ago? Sounds peculiar, but yes, I am saying the right thing. It is possible now to look at 13 billion years ago. How? Let us find out. Hello friends, welcome back to the future space. Today we are back here again with some interesting news. Now we can actually look in space around 13 billion years ago. How? What is the science behind this? Well, this miracle became possible due to the telescope. But how can a telescope look behind in time? Let us look at all these things in detail. But before that, tell us in the comment box, are you interested in looking at the sky? Would you ever like to visit these beautiful twinkling stars? Now we would be able to see the past without even going in the past, which we suppose was not possible. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't, and click the bell icon to watch more videos like this. Now let us begin. In a statement that was issued on Monday, July 11, the National Aeronautics and Space Administration of the United States of America announced that its James Webb Space Telescope, or JWST, had produced the clearest and most detailed infrared image of the far reaches of the universe that have ever been observed, signaling a significant breakthrough in the field of astronomy. The JWST is the biggest and most powerful telescope that has ever been constructed. All of these galaxies were caught in a very limited region, but together they represent the first appearance of thousands of galaxies in Webb's perspective. Among these galaxies are some of the infrared universe's most elusive objects ever seen. According to the press release, this slice of the enormous cosmos spans a piece of sky about the size of a grain of sand held at arm's length by someone on the ground. During the unveiling of the picture at the White House, Vice President Joe Biden of the United States made the following statement about it. This is the earliest recorded light in the history of the cosmos from 13 billion, let me say that again, 13 billion years ago. We have the ability to recognize opportunities that no one else has ever seen before. There are destinations that have never been explored by anybody else before, we may say. The picture that is made available was referred to as a preview and the remaining set of photographs will be made available on NASA's website and social media channels at 10.30 a.m. Tuesday Eastern Time or at 8 p.m. Tuesday Indian Standard Time respectively. The following is an account of the information that has been discovered so far. NASA has referred to the picture as Webb's first deep field, and they have said that it reveals galaxies that were previously hidden from our view. The picture depicts glistening things crammed together in a variety of colors, including blue and orange. There are other observable galaxies that are spiraling and very far away. These galaxies seem quite similar to the Milky Way. It is said that the speed of light is 186,000 miles per second, and the light that you are seeing on one of those small specks has been traveling for nearly 13 billion years, NASA Administrator Bill Nelson said of the picture as reported by the BBC. Also just so you know, we're going even farther back since this is just the first picture. They are traveling back around 13.5 billion years into the past. And given that we know the age of the universe to be 13.8 billion years, you're going practically all the way back to the beginning, he said. The near-infrared camera on Webb was used to take the picture, and the picture was created by merging a number of distinct pictures taken at various wavelengths. The galaxy cluster known as SMACS 0723 is seen here as it looked 4.6 billion years ago in this photograph. The combined mass of the galaxy cluster works as a gravitational lens, magnifying the appearance of galaxies that are located behind it that are considerably farther away. As Webb searches for the oldest galaxies in the cosmos, this will assist researchers in understanding more about the masses, ages, histories, and compositions of the galaxies they study. What exactly is the James Webb Telescope that NASA has in its arsenal? Well, it is a pretty great thing that a telescope has reached this position that we are able to even see in the past. Our world is progressing every day, but would you say it is a growth? Tell us in the comment box. Now let us get back to our topic. The construction of the telescope has been ongoing for a good number of years. In collaboration with the European Space Agency, the Canadian Space Agency and NASA, the development of this spacecraft was headed by NASA. It was sent into space on a rocket on December 25, 2021 and is now located in a location in space that is known as the Sun-Earth L2 Lagrange point. This location is roughly 1.5 million kilometers beyond the orbit of Earth around the Sun. Lagrange 1 of the five points that make up the orbital plane that connects the Earth to the Sun is referred to as point 2. These points may be found in any rotating two-body system, such as the Earth and the Sun, and they identify the location where the gravitational pulls of the two massive bodies cancel each other out. 
They were given their name after the Italian-French mathematician Joseph Louis Lagrange. Objects that are situated in these places are generally stable and need a little amount of additional energy or fuel to maintain their current location. Hence, a large number of instruments are located in these positions. In a line that extends from the Sun to the Earth, L2 is the location that lies immediately behind the Earth. As it travels around the Sun at the same speed as the Earth, it would be protected from the Sun's rays by the Earth. What exactly is the James Webb Space Telescope going to be used for in space? According to NASA, the JWST will be a giant leap forward in our quest to understand the universe and our origins because it will investigate every phase of cosmic history. This includes everything from the Big Bang to the formation of galaxies, stars, and planets to the evolution of our own solar system. The scientific objectives of the James Webb Space Telescope may be broken down into four different categories. The first step is to go back in time, around 13.5 billion years, to see the dawn of the first stars, galaxies, and other cosmic structures emerging from the darkness of the early universe. The second objective is to examine the most distant and ancient galaxies in relation to the grand spirals of the present day in order to get an understanding of how galaxies come together over a period of billions of years. Third, to locate the regions in space where new star systems and planetary formations are being formed. And finally, the fourth goal is to investigate the atmospheres of extrasolar planets, planets that exist outside of our solar system, in the hopes of discovering the chemical components that are necessary for the formation of life elsewhere in the cosmos. Objects that are located inside our solar system will also be the focus of the telescope's research. A visible light observatory of an older generation, such as the Hubble Telescope, will not be able to see through large clouds of dust, but the JWST will be able to look straight through and into these clouds. The Hubble Space Telescope does not have any cameras or other sensors that are sensitive to infrared or heat radiation, but the James Webb Space Telescope does. This is another distinction between the two telescopes. According to a report by the New York Times, the expansion of the universe causes the light that would normally be in wavelengths that are visible to be shifted to longer infrared wavelengths, which are normally unperceivable by human eyes. This shift occurs because longer infrared wavelengths travel further than visible wavelengths. That's all for this video. Tell us in the comment box, would you like to see your past? How exciting it would be to look in the future. Tell us everything you feel about the universe in the comment box. If you liked our work, please appreciate us by liking and sharing it with friends. Also, if you want to watch more videos like this, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to watch more videos like this. Thanks for watching.